Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. We're down here at the Belfry. We're in the Telemed Performance Centre and we're talking impact and I've got a really, really good drill for you that you can do at home or the range which is going to help you understand a little bit more about how to deliver the club for much, much better golf shots when you get out on the course. In the corner of the screen, hopefully about now, you should have the details for my Facebook, for my uh, Instagram and my Twitter accounts. Please make sure you go ahead and follow me on all of those. It's going to be a good way for us to connect and you can suggest content that you would like me to film moving forwards. So, the drill today is, is a little bit more of a conceptual drill, so it's more for you to start to understand how to move the club sort of from last parallel into the golf ball in a more efficient way. And this is something we see golfers struggle with day in, day out. They can often get that club to a good delivery position, but maybe don't quite grasp the right concept of actually what needs to happen to get that club down to the ball in a say the most efficient way. It's quite a simple drill and it's going to be done without a golf ball. You just need a golf club. I've got a seven iron here, but this can actually be done with pretty much any golf club in your bag, but seven iron is not a bad place to start. So we're going to make a couple of little, little uh, changes in our setup and then we're going to go through exactly what you need to do in the drill. And I'm going to go through why it's important and how it's actually going to help you. So take a normal starting position. And what I want you to do is basically split the grip and so you've got your top hand normally where it would be at the top of the handle, but your right hand is going to be somewhere onto the metal by about two to three inches. And what I want you to do there is just get yourself into sort of this position here where, you know, if that was my setup there, I've just got the club hinged to the right and I've got the full wrist set. And we're actually basically just going to start this little drill from that position. So... I've got normal knee flex, uh, my hips are pretty square, my shoulders are pretty square. The only difference really is that I've got my wrist sets, my arms rotated to the right, and I've got my hands split on the grip. Now, if I did have a golf ball in there, and I'll actually put a golf ball in, just makes it a little bit more visual for you, you can see how at that point, the grip end of the club is about in line with the golf ball. Now, this might not be exactly the position we'd be in at delivery. It might be a little bit more back, depending on the club that they're hitting, maybe the shot that we're trying to hit. But we're just going to start from this position. Now, the idea here is to imagine that we're going to deliver the golf club to the ball from here. Now, we have to figure out what we're going to do. Now, this is what I would tend to say quite a lot. I would tend to say this. So you can see how my left arm has flexed quite a bit. And you'll also notice that my lead hand has actually moved closer to the target than it did at setup. What I actually want you to try and feel is that we move the left hand vertically up into your body. As you're doing that, I want you to feel, if you can, that you keep that lead arm as straight as you can. So let me go ahead and do a demonstration and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. So I'm not gonna try and move my hand towards the target and I'm not gonna try and bend my left arm. So it's gonna look hopefully a little bit like this. So you can see here how I'm pulling the grip up towards my body, you'll notice how the grip is not really any more target side of the golf ball than it was at the start, and you'll notice that my left arm is pretty straight. So why is that important, and what's that actually doing for you? Well, in order for you to keep that lead arm pretty straight, you're going to have to really get this shoulder and move in quite aggressively, sort of almost up and then back away from the target. Now, in order for me to do that, I'm probably going to have to start moving this left hip a little bit more out the way. In order for me to do that, I'm probably going to have to start straightening my left leg. And as all of those things move, my right leg is probably going to follow. So my right leg is going to start to straighten as well. My back heel starts to come off. So effectively what I'm doing is I'm trying to put some speed in this golf club, as much speed as I can, but I'm trying to do it in two ways. I'm trying to do it the first way is actually simply by pulling up on my left hand. And the second way is actually by trying to use my right hand to deliver the club to the ball. So it's kind of a scissor action. We're trying to pull up with the left and down with the right. And what you'll notice, hopefully if I do this correctly, we could put a little motion in this. So I can make a couple of rehearsals this way. So left arm comes in line with the ball and then we go ahead and pull up this way. And that's really what we're trying to do at impact. We're trying to pull that golf club up into your body and throw the club out towards the ball. The two motions are gonna hopefully give you the most success. We would tend to see quite naturally if I do this little setup and get someone to bring the club to the ball, we'll often see things like this, where you can see how my left arm's had to buckle because I haven't really pivoted out the way correctly. 
we would often say that the hand moves forward. We don't get often the right thing happening naturally. What golfers want to do naturally is often not, unfortunately, it's not correct. But this little drill is gonna help you start to understand a little bit what you need to do. And what I would suggest is once you feel a little bit more comfortable with the movement, try and make it relatively aggressive. Start maybe and go quite slowly, but then ultimately you can start to put a little bit of speed into it. So we're starting to really pull the arm up, my shoulders moving up and back, my hips are opening up, my right arm's extending down towards the golf ball, and that's a really good feeling for how you're going to deliver the golf club. What we can then start to do is take a little setup, no golf ball, little backswing, feel like I bring the club into that position here, and then basically go ahead and feel the same thing, feel that kind of scissor action, left hand comes up, right hand goes down, and we can start to get these impacts which look a little bit more solid and then post impact we start to get this more extended look to our body arms are pretty straight club head is basically as far away from me as it could be at that point as opposed to some of these impacts we see they're a little bit like this we haven't really used the body particularly well and if we haven't used the body particularly well we can't put the right forces through the handle and in turn we can't get the right speed into the golf club so it's a quite a simple drill to do because you don't need a bit of range, you don't need to have a bucket of balls, you just need a golf club, you need the right idea, maybe a mirror, mirror will be great because you can see exactly what you're doing and it's going to give you a real good understanding about what that body needs to do through the impact area and how to deliver that club correctly. So let me go ahead and do a little shot. I'm just going to hit this ball, I'm only going to try and hit it 60 or 70 yards but I'm going to do it as the way we explain so I'm going to go into this position here, I'm gonna bring it down to there, and then I'm really gonna feel now that I start to pull up with a handle, use my body to pivot out the way and try and get this nice solid impact. So it's not gonna go particularly far, but hopefully it's gonna look about right. And there's my impact. That was a fantastic strike. Really nice solid ball flight. Again, I couldn't be more extended with my body. Arms couldn't be any straighter and the club head couldn't be any further away from me. Those are the checkpoints that you're really looking for, which is going to give you the indication that you've done this drill correctly and you've achieved the right impact. So, strange concept because there's a lot of things moving away from the ground through impact, yet we are still after a golf club which is working in towards the ground. And certainly from that strike, I would be fairly confident those things happened because the strike felt good, the ball flight was low, but I felt my body extending through. And that's really what this is drill is all geared around, is trying to get you to understand how the body's gonna work through impact. Right, let me just hit a full one. I've only got a mid iron here, let's pick a target up there, I'll go for the 150 marker. And hopefully we're gonna see some of those things happening through my impact. Certainly I'd be pretty happy with that, just coming down on my target now. So give that drill a go. Hopefully it helps, hopefully it gives you a better understanding of impact, how to deliver the club, and ultimately, hopefully that makes you play some better golf next time you get to the driving range or out onto the golf course. Thank you very much for watching. Um, all the usual stuff down below, you've got the comments box, you've got a like button, and you've got a link to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.